happy Monday. It is a fresh new week and I figured that today would just be the perfect day to actually do a vlog. First of all, because the weather outside is absolutely beautiful. Finally, we have some sun in New York City. And also because today is a Dior show day. And yes, we are in New York. We are not at Paris Fashion Week. This is gonna be their pre-fall 24 show, which is kind of that in-between season between the fall winter shows and the spring summer shows. I've never been to one of these before, so I'm very, very excited to see what it all looks like. It's gonna be taking Taking place at the Brooklyn Museum. They sent my look over earlier today, so we're gonna run through that. I'm gonna take you guys through all of my glam for the day, and we're gonna head to the show together. Okay, so I think we have my show invite right here from Dior for me. <laughs> so my show invite, it's got this really cute painting of the New York City landscape in the back. Seat assignment, and then this is something I didn't expect. The show is gonna be followed by a party, so. Wasn't planning on staying out late tonight, but I think that's what's gonna be happening. Okay, so before I show you guys my outfit that I'm gonna be wearing today, I wanna take you through what the prep process from like a content creation standpoint looks like whenever I'm getting ready for a show. Most importantly, I am always making sure everything that I own is charged and I have this whole camera equipment kit that I take with me to all of my fashion shows. First and foremost, this is my camera that I use for all of my photos and it's just a really, really good sharp camera with a wide angle lens. So it's just a really great one that we use whenever we're in like really cramped spaces, like in the car. And then even out on the street, we can get a full length body shot, like when we're standing super close to each other. And it's one of my favorite cameras that I've been using for years. A recent addition to my kit has been this microphone kit and I can't show you every Thing because I'm using some of the components of the set right now. I have it plugged into my vlog camera and then I have a little microphone clipped in. Oops, probably are gonna hear all those bumps that I just did, but I have one of them clipped into my shirt right now and it's just a really good way to make the audio really crisp, especially when I'm going out to events where I know there's gonna be a lot of ambient noise. So I also charged that up this morning. Another thing that's on my list is this. It is my vlog camera battery charger. I have two batteries. One of them obviously is in the camera that we are using right now. And this one has been charged up to use as a backup. So I always have to make sure that these are charged fully because for some reason, the camera that I use for my vlogs, it eats up battery so, so quickly. So this is probably always the first thing that dies on me whenever I'm out and about, which is why I have two batteries um, and I'm really keeping my fingers crossed that it does not become a problem later tonight. And then for any and all evening events, you definitely need a light panel. I really like this one that I've been using for a long time. Um, it's a, just a nice size and it's really nice and flat so I can just slip that into my purse on the go. And then I recently got this one at an event um, and I like it because it can clip to the top of my iPhone so it's just a really nice handy way to make use of the camera. So yeah that's pretty much all of my equipment that I'm going to be making use of today. I'm just gonna double check definitely in the next few hours to make sure it's all fully charged up um, but that's what my photography kit looks like. Okay, so let's take a look at the outfit that Dior sent over. For the show today, I'm wearing a look from Dior's Spring 2024 collection, and it's literally straight off the runway. Every single piece from the look is what they sent me, and I'm gonna be wearing it basically as styled on the runway. It is this beautiful, kind of like linen trench coat. And we've got a really simple trench and it's got that really cute CD logo with the Dior B on front of it. And then my favorite part of the look is gonna be this skirt. I'm sure you guys have already seen me try this on and obviously I'm gonna be showing you the full look later. I'm not getting dressed till a couple hours from now so I'll show you the full look then. But it's just this incredible, stunning lace detail. Look at that. It's like detailed literally from the top to the bottom, all over. It's very sheer. <laughs> so we're going to figure out what kind of shapewear situation I'm going to be wearing underneath. But this is basically going to be the full look. This has a pair of combat boots and a black bag to complement the whole thing. Um, I'll probably share kind of like a look of what the look was on the runway so you guys can get kind of a sense of what that reference is. I'm still trying to figure out what I want to do with my hair. We'll see about that. And I think for makeup, because it's just such a classic silhouette, although it's got a lot of these really interesting details, like the distressing, um, the lace and everything, it's like a classic silhouette with 
really edgy details. I think I kind of want to do something like that with my makeup. So maybe something a little bit cleaner with like kind of a grungy or dark lip or a really messy smoky eye. But I don't know. We're going to see about that. I'm here with Mia with Dior Beauty. What are we doing today? We're going to do a smoky eye with a very modern skin using some star filter, which I'm obsessed with. I haven't and tried a, that before. Yeah, it's yeah. new. Okay. It's a trans and a transparent, like vampy lip. So mm -hmm. we're gonna modernize it to suit you, which I love. It's gonna be really good because my full look is like all neutral and everything, and then we have a lot of black accessories. So we're just gonna have fun with like a little bit of like a clean look with like grungy details. So I think mm -hmm. it'll look fun. Okay, so we just finished getting ready, did like a really cute smoky eye moment, which I am so obsessed with. I put on some jewelry and I still have my jacket in the other room. It's kind of warm indoors right now, so I'll just put it on as the last thing as we head out. But let me just show you my full look. All right, so here is the look. And then my trench is right behind me, right over there. Um, I'm gonna put that on. It's also a little bit beigey, but here we go. That is the show look. Um, I'm just going to try to get a couple more emails knocked out before we head over to Brooklyn. And then I'm going to show off my full outfit somewhere that I have enough space to do that. So there we go. I love it. Alrighty, we are here. Show. So unfortunately, we didn't even have the time to shoot my look. But um, hopefully we're going to find enough time to do that right after the show. But I'm so excited. It's so cute in here. I'm going to show you guys around. Okay hey guys, so that was the Dior Fall 2024 show. It was so, so cool. Especially to have it in like such an iconic location, like the Brooklyn Museum. It was just incredible. We saw just so many really good fall staples, like a lot of velvet dresses, oversized blazers and suiting. And then we also saw a lot of sparkle, which we see that a lot of the time, like in and around the holiday season so i'm just really really excited about that overall just a really really good show it was really cool to have dior in new york as well um, i never actually gave you guys my full outfit one over so i'm just going to show you guys that now and that's it thank you guys so much for joining me today and i will see you next time bye